Florida's House District 72 is now being represented by a Democrat. Margaret Good managed to flip the Sarasota district with her win in a special election last week. She joins us live in the studio this morning. Uh, first off, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. My we really pleasure. appreciate it. Uh, so the district is traditionally Republican. You managed to flip it. What factors do you think contributed to your win? I think that people are fed up. Like, I decided to run because I wanted to see change in government. I was fed up with what was happening in Tallahassee, what's happening in Washington, D.C., and wanted a better representation. What, what do you think about your background will make you a good legislator? Uh, well, I'm a lawyer. I understand the laws. Um, but I also just, I care, and I want to do the right thing for Sarasota and for Florida. Let's talk about the Parkland shooting. Okay. Uh, obviously a big topic. It's probably going to be one when you get to Tallahassee. What's your position on gun reform? Well, I am devastated and I am angry about what's happening. I did some research. There are seven bills, um, common sense gun reform bills, uh, risk protection orders, assault, um, assault weapons bills that have not even been heard in committees. We have three weeks left of session and these bills are going nowhere. Hmm. I'm going to press you on that. Do you, you feel like assault weapons should be banned? I think that it is a discussion that needs to be had. I think that it, it makes a lot of sense to make sure that 19-year-olds don't have assault weapons and can't go into schools or nightclubs or concerts and kill our citizens. I don't think that's right. Mm. I think it needs to change. But particularly those weapons, there are a lot of Democrats who feel like they should not be available, whether to 19-year-olds or to full adults of any age. Yes. What's your position? I think we need to do something about the, about, about the, about guns. I, I don't, I think we should ban assault weapons. Okay. All right. One of your most noticeable policy, uh, excuse me, notable policy positions uh, is on pollution, specifically in our waterways. Uh, what do you plan to do to fight that in Tallahassee? Well, I am concerned about Amendment 1. Back in 2014, uh, the majority of Floridians passed a constitutional amendment that said we want to buy land for preservation. If you look at, it's part of the document stamp revenue, about a third of that document stamp revenue was supposed to go to land preservation and environmental protections. If you look at what's before the House right now, only about half of that is being allocated as the voters intended. Hmm, interesting. And so uh, I, obviously I'm assuming that uh, offshore drilling is something that you are totally against. I'm totally against offshore drilling, okay. yes. Yeah. Uh, you're a proponent of Medicaid expansion. Um, a lot of your GOP colleagues, however, uh, are against it. Do you think there's any room for compromise there? I don't think we need to compromise. I think it is a no-brainer. If we expand Medicaid, almost a million more people will have access to health care in Florida. It's a net gain to our budget, so it doesn't cost us anything. And in fact, it makes us $500 million richer. There is no reason not to do it. Um, I want to ask you, your win uh, obviously flipped a district. Um, from a personal level, were you surprised to win? I worked really hard and I had an amazing team of volunteers and staff that worked tirelessly to make sure that we were in a really good position on February 13th on Election Day. Um, and I think it's a testament to how all the voters feel. I think people are fed up with having uh, legislators, representatives that are not actually representing them. And I pledged to actually represent my district to speak out on issues. And I think that that's important and that's what got us. Um, that got us here today. Obviously, ideas are important, but I spoke to some people with some knowledge of your campaign. They said that your get out the vote effort was excellent. How big of a part of your win do you think that was? Well, I think that we were able to energize a lot of people because of the message. And once you energize people because you have a message, because you really believe in important issues, then they then people come out and volunteer and they help you get out the vote. And we worked incredibly hard. We knocked on tens of thousands of doors. We made tens of thousands of phone calls. We had help from Sister District, from Flippable, from the DLCC, from people around the country, but mainly from people in Sarasota that really care and want to make sure that they have good representation in Tallahassee. There are many people who think that Democrats are trying to ride a wave of anti-Trump uh, sentiment and that if they bank on that as we move into the November elections, 
that it may not be as successful a strategy as they think. What's your view on how Democrats can be successful in, on a national level, mm -hmm. you know, flipping the House and flipping the Senate? We need to talk about the issues. We need good candidates that care about the issues, that care about their constituents, that's going, that are going to do what is right for their area, and then I think you win. Okay, you seem very passionate about your views. <laughs> I like that, I appreciate that. We're gonna, we're gonna keep you to that, though, <laughs> and make sure that Tallahassee doesn't corrupt you. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. I'm, going, I'm going to stand up for what I believe is right. Okay.